Christy here. I'm the owner of Go See Christy Beauty Boutique located in Southern California. And today we're going to talk about uh, what best sunscreens are best for oily or breakout prone sunscreens. Okay, it is the beginning of summer. Everybody needs sunscreen. However, the people that tend to avoid sunscreens because sometimes they feel tacky and sticky are oily, prone, breakout prone, and sensitive skin. And those skin types need sunscreen just as well. Okay, so these are some of the factors that you want to look in in sunscreen. First one is I would recommend a physical sunscreen or a combination of physical and chemical together, not just purely chemical. I would actually avoid the chemical sunscreens because they tend to increase breakout, um, breakouts in breakout prone skin. Okay, how do you know? The physical sunscreens are mineral based. So they're going to include titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, and or iron oxide. Anything else that ends in zone, like avobenzone, or ends in eight, A-T-E, those are typically chemical, okay? So that's the first one. The mineral-based sunscreen is, stays on top of the skin, so it is not comedogenic. It is also a natural anti-inflammatory and decreases redness. So that's another one. If you can find other benefits such as anti-aging agents in it, such as vitamin A, vitamin C, or vitamin E, plant stem cells would be great. Um, here are two that I'm going to recommend, and absolutely there are more than one. This one is the Image Daily Matte moisturizer. So it actually has patented micro sponges in them so they break open and they actually absorb oil as you start to produce more oil throughout the day. It also contain, contains hydrators to increase hydration in your skin. So if you increase hydration, your oil production also decreases. And it also reduces uh, inflammation and redness. So here's, now this is a physical and a chemical combination, okay? The other one that I want to introduce is, this is a Lyra. This is Lyra Clinical, and this one has a solar shield. It's 30 SPF, and this is also oil-free. Now, this one, they just recently reformulated their product. It used to be 18% zinc oxide, but now it's 21, so they've actually increased the amount of physical protection for your skin. Um, if it does have a high amount of mineral products in here for sunblock, it's kind of hard sometimes to spread it evenly. And sometimes if you don't spread it evenly, you have these white shades all over your face because it it is not meant to be absorbed in the skin like chemical sunscreen. Okay, So if you do, then I recommend that you use a toner that has no alcohol, about 7 to 10 sprays so that you're fully wet and while your face is still wet, then you're going to apply the sunscreen. Now this one actually has plant stem cells as well as a plant-based arbutin in it as well, which is a plant-based lightener and brightener. This also reduces inflammation as well as redness. There are plenty of other ones out there. Um, you need to try them out. I've tried a couple of them out there that were completely mineral-based. I'm focusing on these two because from what I have found so far, these actually give a high enough SPF. It spreads very well. It increases hydration. It doesn't feel tacky. And it has some form of ingredients that um, is anti-aging. So that's it for today. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and you can go ahead and put it in the YouTube comments. Otherwise, we'll see you next time in our next video. Thanks for watching.